a revolutionary engine that could be used in a space plane to take passengers into space, in just 15 minutes has taken a major step forwards, with a new testing facility in Westcott, Buckinghamshire. Reaction Engines has begun constructing the test facility, where it plans to undertake the first ground-based demonstration of its Sabre air-breathing rocket engine. The firm hopes that the new test site, will allow it to test the Sabre engine core as early as 2020. The test center will feature an assembly building, workshops, offices and a control room, along with various test engine configurations. The company plans on putting the Sabre engine in a reusable space plane called Skilon, a vehicle capable of launching heavy telecommunications satellites. Mark Thomas, CEO at Reaction Engines, said, This is another exciting step forward in development of Reaction Engine Sabre engine, and a visible demonstration of the UK's commitment to the program. I look forward to seeing this unique facility take shape, and commencing our core engine testing, which will be a defining moment for aerospace. Last year, the European Space Agency, invested $11 million towards the development of the engine Franco Ungaro, Director of Technology, Engineering and Quality, at ESA said, the opening of this new test facility, at Westcott today marks an historical moment, for the European aerospace industry, and for the UK research and development in rocket propulsion. This facility will enable the ground test of the Sabre engine cycle, opening the way to the first flight tests, and to a new era. The European Space Agency is proud of this partnership with industry, and the UK Space Agency, to which we bring our technical competence, which has supported the Sabre development to this stage, and we are confident, to its future flight success. Reaction Engines has now has secured over $66 million, in funding from the British government, with more than $55 million from the UK Space Agency, and the ESA contribution acting as the final piece. The revolutionary Sabre engine, could allow aircraft to take off from a runway, and accelerate to five times the speed of sound, before switching to a rocket mode, propelling it into orbit. This design could also be used to send satellites into space, at a fraction of the current cost. Mr. Thomas said, We are now entering an exciting phase, where we can accelerate the pace of development to get Sabre up and running. At the moment, rockets have to carry liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen, to power them, and the cost of carrying this heavy fuel is expensive. The new engine, creates its own liquid oxygen by cooling air entering the engine from 1000 degrees Celsius, to minus 150 degrees Celsius in a hundredth of a second six times faster than the blink of an eye, without creating ice blockages. This allows the engine to run safely at much higher power than is currently possible, without the risk that it will overheat and break apart. The design, known as an air-breathing rocket engine, and named Sabre, could power a new generation of Mach 5 passenger jets, called the Lapcat, dramatically cutting flying times. Mach 5 is about two and a half times faster than the top speed achieved by Concorde, and could be the next big leap forward in powered flight. While normal long-haul passenger jets cruise at around 35,000 feet, the Lapcat could fly as high as 92,000 feet at speeds of up to 4,000 miles per hour. Reaction engine Sabre design uses a system of pipes, filled with helium. The air passes through these pipes, and the helium helps remove any heat and the oxygen is carried to the engine. Once in space, the engine is capable of switching into rocket mode. This means the craft can travel in orbit for around 36 hours, and be used to launch satellites, for example. We want the UK to be the best place in Europe to innovate, and the Sabre engine program has the potential to change air and space travel forever, said Catherine Courtney, Acting Chief Executive Officer, UK Space Agency. When the UK Space Agency made its £60 million commitment in 2013, we demonstrated our courage and belief in the development of this groundbreaking technology. Drawing on the expertise of the European Space Agency, our funding will help ensure that reaction engines and industry can collaborate to make this revolutionary engine a reality. Mr. Thomas has described the development of the engine as the holy grail of space access. He said, the general public may feel removed from the notion of space, but much of our lives are reliant on the use of satellites in space. Because of its rusability, it dramatically reduces the cost of launching a satellite to about one-tenth of the current $100 million. 
you don't buy a new car, and then when it runs a fuel throw it away. That is what we are aiming to do with spacecraft. BAE will be developing an aircraft fitted with a new engine. The team plans to produce a demonstration model by the end of the decade, although designs for passenger aircraft are still at least 20 years away.